Shaliza Sundays on 105.9 The Region. That's right. You're listening to 105.9 The Region. Happy Sunday. And it's time now for one of my favorite parts of the show. It's time for another Artist Spotlight Sunday. And today I am joined by Damien Rose. Uh, He is part of the band Lost in Hollywood with like no vowels, by the way. We'll talk about that. But (laughs) they're based in Markham, Richmond Hill. Uh, Hey, Damien, how's it going? going great how are you doing i'm good thank you thank you so much for joining me okay i need to know tell me about the band and about why it's spelled the way it's spelled okay well um i first thought of the name when i was working out a lot of my ideas suddenly come when i'm working out i guess and um i was thinking of a band name for a solo project that i was doing um at the start of covid it was like summer 2020 i believe and i had a band called james Mary and the minute riders at the time had a full Ontario tour, summer tour that was canceled, unfortunately, uh, due to COVID. And I started experimenting with uh, new sounds kind of in my bedroom, made a full EP actually with solo. I played um, guitar, bass, drums, vocals, did that whole thing. And the name really came from, it kind of hit me. Like I've been lost in Hollywood my entire life. Like when I was a young kid, I really wanted to become an actor. And from there, then I really got into rock and roll and the whole, you know, glamorous lifestyles of rock stars and that whole thing. So I really feel that I've been lost in Hollywood almost my entire life. So that's kind of where the name came from. And then the vowels dropping, kind of like a, a lot of new artists do it, like Juice World or mm-hmm. uh, Young Blood. So I kind of took inspiration from them. Okay, that's interesting. And you've actually got quite uh, the diverse group uh, in your band. Tell me about all your band members. Yeah, so we got Catherine Carter on the rhythm guitar. We got Lana on the bass. We have Chris King on the drums. And uh, yeah, my name is Damien Rose, and I play uh, lead vocals and lead guitar. Nice. And, you know, we're wrapping up Pride Month right now, and your band is so diverse, uh, so many different uh, people representative of the LGBTQ community. Yeah, Lana's right in there with um, the LGBTQ plus community. And as well, um, I just love having girls in a rock band because it's so, you don't really see it very much. You don't see, it's either an all girl group or an all guy group, Mm -hmm. or there's like one girl or something like that. And I think we're really kind of different because it's actually completely equal. We have two girls and two guys in the group. I think that's something really interesting about us. That is really interesting. And what's even more interesting is that you guys like kind of met. I mean, I use the term met very loosely because you actually didn't meet in person for a long time because you started the band in the middle of COVID. Yeah. Me and Catherine met during a stretch show, actually. Um, They're kind of a new rock band in September of 2019. So right before COVID there. Lana, we've known each other for like two years. She's actually my girlfriend. Chris, uh, I've known him since 12, actually. We met in the Long and McQuaid Rock Camp group, which was really cool. And we've been in and out of bands ever since then, basically. That's awesome. That's super cool. And you guys have this really cool sound. And you've got a ton of views on TikTok as well. Yeah. TikTok's been really great because, I mean, COVID, for a while, bands just couldn't play. And that's all I really knew because... I had never really utilized social media before COVID. Um, Who was really good on it, actually, was uh, our bassist, Lana. She probably won't like me telling you this, but she was uh, bigger on TikTok, actually, on the early days of TikTok when it was, like, musically. And so she was like, yeah, you got to do this and this and this. And um, we did it, and uh, we gained quite a bit of a fan base on off of TikTok. So that was really, really cool. Basically, what you're saying is your girlfriend was right. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. It's like, um, you know, I'll stick to the music and booking shows and kind of that type of a thing, and she'll stick to, like, the business stuff. It's kind of like a Sharon and Ozzy uh, dynamic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that comparison. All right, you guys are releasing your first full EP this summer. What's it called? Yeah, um, it's self-titled. And, uh, yeah, going to have five songs. Got two songs out already. One's called Wish You Were Her. You can stream that everywhere. And another one is Summer Valentine, which just came out uh, June 10th. I actually wrote it about uh, last summer, just kind of having a bunch of fun with your friends, whatever you're kind of doing, um, having a lot of parties, 
lot of summer nights that uh, you'll never forget. And um, we're doing a full Ontario tour now uh, for the summer. And yeah, we're having a really great time with it. And Damien, before you go, where can our listeners follow you guys and hear some more of your music? Follow us on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music. Again, Lost in Hollywood. 105.9 The Region.